Did you know that the concept of shampoo originated in India? Yes, indeed, this daily essential gracing our bathrooms hails from our fascinating subject for today, India. The word shampoo itself derives from the Sanskrit word shampoo, meaning to knead or massage. Our journey through time begins in the ancient era, in the fertile plains of the Indus Valley civilization. Flourishing around 2500 BCE, this civilization showcased a high degree of sophistication in its urban planning, with well-structured cities like Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Notably, the world's earliest known system of flush toilets was also a part of this civilization's architectural prowess. Fast forward to the 4th century BCE, we encounter the Mauryan Empire, under whose reign the world witnessed the creation of one of the earliest large stone sculptures, the Ashoka Pillar. It's not just a symbol of the Mauryan rule, but also a testament to the advanced metallurgy of the time. As we step into the Golden Age of India, around the Gupta Empire in the 4th to 6th centuries CE, we find ourselves amidst a revolution in science, arts, and literature. This era gave birth to Aryabhata, the great mathematician and astronomer, who introduced the concept of zero to the world. The medieval age of India, starting from the 8th century CE, was decorated with architectural marvels and cultural evolution. The construction of the Qutub Minar, an iconic symbol of Delhi, and the inception of diverse musical forms like Qawwali and Kayal during this period are noteworthy. As we transition into the colonial era, India, known as the jewel in the crown of the British Empire, contributed significantly to global GDP. It was during this period that the game of polo, originating in Manipur, found its way to the international stage. Now, let's steer our time machine to the present day. Today, India stands as the world's largest democracy and second most populous country, with a diverse blend of cultures, languages, and religions. It is also the world's largest producer of movies, outpacing even Hollywood. To summarize, we embarked on a fascinating journey today, starting from the ancient Indus Valley civilization, its urban planning, and early sanitation systems. We looked at the Mauryan Empire's contributions to art and the Golden Age's advancements in science and literature. We explored the architectural and cultural richness of the medieval age, the colonial era's economic significance, and the modern-day democratic powerhouse that India is today. So, the next time you lather up your hair with shampoo or use the number zero in your calculations, remember the rich and diverse history of India that continues to shape our world in ways more than one.